Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I appreciate you. Guys, in today's video, we will be discussing Veru. Veru has still been showing progress. If you notice yesterday, we have a day low of $9.60. Now, if you watch my video yesterday at $11, and 10 cents, I let you know the best entry price would be between 960 and ten dollars. Now, happy to say we did get into that um, price range, which is extremely important. If you got in between nine dollars and sixty cents and ten dollars as what we recommended yesterday, then you'd have made great progress up more than 25% since the video yesterday. Now stay tuned, I'll jump right into it to let you guys know all about what's happening in the market. Absolutely, guys. Veru is much still important to the stock market in terms of what the breakthrough meant. Now, I was reading a lot of different information um, in terms of doing some research, in terms of where we stand with COVID-19. And there's a lot of different things that's going on that I think that Veru could be onto something right now. If you're invested in the company at an early stage, I would say um, in the last month or two, then definitely you'd have um, sit in a great investment right now. Again, guys, I've been hinting nuggets in my videos in the last six months that don't sleep on Veru. Now, this is why it's very, very important to, to subscribe to this channel. Um, I do my research and invest in companies that I truly believe in. Um, if I do not believe in what a company is doing, then I don't really normally invest in a company. So, if you think about it this way, guys, I believe in lowering carbon. So I'm a longtime investor in Tesla, um, such as editors and, and those type of companies that I know will make um, changes um, for our future. Now, if you were watching um, the news in the last, I would say, three weeks, you have been noticing that countries has been suffering from the coronavirus. Um, if we take a look at China, we saw in Shanghai, in Jinlin, a few other provinces is completely shut down because there's a new wave of this COVID-19 um, that's actually starting to be worse than what we saw in 2020. Not many news coverage is actually telling people this because I'm assuming because there is a higher number of vaccinated people than the governments, they think, okay, you know what? It's not so bad as 2020, at least we're a little bit more prepared. So they're not really telling you in the news or and if you look at tv if you look at any other official sites they're not really pumping this news out right but in terms of placebo in the last year or two this was one of the successful way of treating covid in the mid to severe cases but with very um with your oral drug that's given significant as much as 55 percent um in in terms of rate this is extremely um, important. This will be a breakthrough, and not only that. I was reading um, on my screen. I don't want to, I don't want to mislead anyone, but I was reading something on Yahoo here that says um, that the drug could be a godsend for patient hospitalized with COVID and help save the most critical cases. This is very, very important, right? I was thinking about something as well that I read. It says the drug is successful based on the treatment that they have tested in the phase three trial, that they already stop the trial, guys. How often do we see a company stop a trial of the drugs that they will be introducing? Not very often. That must mean the result is actually amazing. They're saying that they could treat all variant with this um, like COVID-19 drug. It show a lot of um, effectiveness in the people that tested so far. So they're more than confident that this drug will do good. Now, if we take a look at the stock market, we saw in the last um, two days, since yesterday, we saw it came down in, in terms of price in the low $9.60. Now that right in that range that I tell people that um, $9.60 to $10 would have been a great range if you want to get in on this stock. Always remember as well, guys, set a price that you're comfortable with. That's that's the number one, right? Then as the stock goes up, it's okay to take profit. Now, if we take a look right now, it's up 14% for the day um, at $11.46. We have seen it gone 
over $12.25. And what I say in time and time again, set some expectation. Um, if you know that, hey, I want to make 20, 25% in the short term goal, once it gets to that price, set a stop loss. And this is exactly what I did. Once it crosses over $12 and it gets to $12.25, I put a stop loss, uh, a market stop loss of 10 cents, right? So once it starts to roll back, it end up selling just around twelve dollars and eleven cents around that, right? Which is perfect because then I was able to go back in at eleven dollars and twelve cents. So I'll see how it runs for the day. I'm hoping to see if we can cross this over fourteen dollars per share again. Um, it is possible. Now we saw a lot of news came out with Dr. Fassi. We saw different um, specialists giving their opinion on the drug, um, but I think. In my opinion, based on what I read, and if the information what was given is actually facts, then definitely this drug could be a breakthrough. And it's the perfect timing. Think about it. The, the case in China we saw is, is getting outrageous. We saw the cases in Canada have increased um, tremendously. And then we saw the states in U.S. I believe in Washington there was a news this week that 75% case spike um, compared to what it was in 2020. So the, the COVID virus is not yet gone. And I think these guys are sitting in a great position. Um, if we take a look, guys, it's a small cap company at 800 million. So definitely once um, any positive news, um, this stock will even go higher. Now keep in mind, they file for um, emergency use, right? So the FDA did not grant this use yet. So okay, stock price right now, it's $11.40. Um, if there's news that comes out in the coming days that says, okay, um, okay, if they have granted Viru um, emergency use of the oral COVID um, vaccine, then definitely you'd see that this stock could definitely break even $20 and $30 per share, if not more. It, it, it's a monster waiting to happen. But on the flip side, you have to consider the opposite. What happened? if they get denied, which I think is, is unlikely. If they get such um, of impressive um, success rate in their phase three trial, you, you'd expect that this drug will get the authorization to be used. And with the rise of cases right now, you will start seeing uh, countries starts to, um, I know for sure once they, if they get that, uh, that authorization, you'd see countries such as Canada, and of course in the US, um, will start to place the order for this thing. Um, and if this thing is an overcounted drug, it would be even perfect because then regular people going out there and buy this thing, which I do not recommend unless if it's meant for that use. But I, I think personally, it is a good investment still. Now, if you got in in the in the low five or low fours or even low six and seven, it's more of a comfort and more of a security that should the price starts to retract, then you're more protected. Now, again, when I buy and sell, I'm just using profits to go back and forth um, and to build more shares, right? Once I get the number of shares that I, I feel comfortable holding long-term, then definitely um, I will consider holding until that news comes out. Now, keep in mind, if your brokerage that you're using allows you to trade in the off-the-market or in the pre-market, it's a great idea to keep an eye on this stock Price movement could move a lot in the pre-markets and also in the aftermarket. If you're not checking those markets, then you will miss out on a lot of opportunity. That's where I get these stocks in most cases. So I have to really keep scanning, keep checking um, from four to seven, maybe check two, three times to see how my positions are doing, how my watch list is doing. And when I see there is an opportunity, then I can make a decision. Now, as we're speaking right now, we've seen that it moves um, from $11.30 back up to $11.60. Um, I believe there's something that's in the pipe that's coming, guys, so make sure that you do your own research. If you're not subscribed to this video, if you get any value from the content, then show your support. Um, hit that subscribe button below. Um, click that notification bell. Helps to notify you when I post new videos. Again, this week and next week, I think I will be doing a lot of trades in the market. So if I see there's any breakouts, then I'll let you know. If you want to get into these breakouts before they happen or in the midst of it, you need to subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
So you can be one of the few first people to jump in because what happens is that if you wait until the stock goes to 100, 180% up, then it's, it's late because when you go in, there's a high possibility price will drop. We saw the same thing uh, with Sunshine Pharma. It goes up to $12 and 20 something cents in the aftermarket. I create a video for you guys, warning you guys to exit at 12 at least. Whoever missed out, we saw it came back down to four dollars and eight cents um, yesterday pre-market. So this is the kind of movement you can see uh, with Veru as well. I let you guys know uh, last week that keep an eye on Veru. It was still below five dollars. We saw it goes up to fifteen, I think fifteen thirty-five per share, and then we saw it came down yesterday to nine dollars and sixty-five cents. So it's good to make sure um, that you subscribe and you click that notification. So if I create a quick video you will get notified if you watch it then you know you get to make some money all right so it's up to you guys but like share and subscribe let me know and until next time guys peace out